All right, everybody. Thanks uh, for being here. Yeah, we're coming in a little late. Uh, but hey, at least we're here. We were totally fucked off and uh, didn't get here on Saturday. My internet was messed up, though. My internet was messed up. That's what messed us up there. So, but hey, uh, we uh, we got a good episode for you tonight. Uh, Brendan's joined us. What's up, Mr. What do you got going on over there? He's got a light show going on. Yeah, it's like show Epcot goes. Center over here. I like it. It looks like it, yeah. Oh, I'm proud of it. I love it. It's like uh, so jealous. 2015. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shoot what's uh well what's the hat what's good what's <laughs> i love it i love it so much you're, you're the you're the only guest that's had like the most professional lighting so far so you get yes. you get big ups from us um Thanks. yeah yeah how's it going man long time no yeah. see you. Uh, good 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 i just uh um really just been putting a lot of time into school so i'm still trying still working on graduating Awesome. Um, I know nobody ever believes that I, I actually was ever a student or am really going to school. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, it is happening. <laughs> so yeah, Good for you. Uh, I, I, yeah, I crafted my graduation date to March first. Okay, nice. well, as of March oh. next year, I should be a doctor. Okay, Excellent. not an MD, a PhD. So if anybody has any medical problems and you like something happens and I'm somewhere where you're at, and they yell, "Is there a doctor in the house?" <laughs> Don't look to me. Don't look at me. I, will, I can help him with medical imaging <laughs> and radiation therapy. Uh, that's well. That's so, a problem. Is now that like people find out that about you, they're gonna ask you all sorts of like medical questions. Yeah. Like that's yeah. all that yeah. Jess. Yeah. Jess yeah. constantly. My girlfriend is. She's a nurse, and that's all she does is just all of her friends text her and like, oh, I, I've got this thing wrong with my foot, and it's weird looking, and she's yeah. like, Crash. I don't know. Yeah, go in, do something. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, and then, you, I mean, get ready. People, people, in medicine are the worst because. They don't go to the doctor. Like people in medicine, I mean, it, kind of one of the things you learn real easily is that if you're looking for something, you will find, find something. It. So yeah. should you be worried about it? Well, you know, sometimes <laughs> yes, sometimes no. So it's like, Absolutely. you know, like yeah. there's people that have things in their body that we will die with that might be abnormal growth of cells, but it may not be deadly. You know? <laughs> yeah, benign, Dude, I guarantee benign. you, I've got... I gotta tell you, I got fucking tons of them. <laughs> I, I bet a third of my body weight is mutated cells <laughs> and just total growths. bullshit yeah. that's growing in my body. I guarantee. You're like it's half Cheeto, half Diet Pepsi. <laughs> probably so. Probably so. No Jerry, iced tea. Jerry iced tea. Zero. Oh okay. <laughs> a lot of iced tea. Oh shit. Oh shit. Well, let's get but, into it. I mean, um, where did we leave off last time? It was probably Thursday with Jason. Um, we got to see. Uh, we got to see actually uh, Vanessa win the HOH. Uh, we watched it yeah. live on the feeds. Um, it was big. Um, it was good for her, probably. Um, yeah. What we understand now is that the veto happened. Johnny Mac won it. Um, he got. He's coming off the block. Now, there's been a lot of speculation about what's going on. Um, you know, for a while, it seemed like she was just going to put up Austin, and then who knows what's going to happen. A lot of people are saying that Austin is going to uh, be evicted. Um, I don't know. It's all speculation still at this point. The feeds are off. Uh, that's where we're at in the But the week. facts are that Austin and Steve are on the block together, mm -hmm. and it's looking like all conversation is leading to it was Austin's last day in the house. Okay. Does anybody see anything that contradicts that? No, I mean I couldn't really say. Uh, I don't think I heard anything other than that. it. Just all everyone seems like it's awesome gonna be going. But the thing all about right. it is that like Vanessa, you know, she's so wild card. She's always been wild card, and you well, know she she goes back and forth so much. Uh, she likes to keep us all on our toes. Uh, well, she she does, but she doesn't want to take a showmance into the final you know final four, final three. So and as two people that played with showmances, uh, I guess that's what we probably need to talk about. I mean Liz. And Austin have been a really dominant uh, showman this entire season. Uh, you mean the both... new Brenchel. The new Brenchel. <laughs> yes. no, no one could ever take that title from you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, didn't Julie Chin say that y'all are her favorite showmans? Uh, yes, yes, that's, she that's, did. That's uh, Rachel cool. was really excited. I got a text from her. I was like, what? She's like, yeah. Julie's her favorite something. I don't know, because half of Rachel's texts never make sense anyways. <laughs> yeah. So, but I'm like, I tried to decipher them, and I'm like, something Julie Chin. Happy couple. Likes us, I was like, yeah. cool. I was like, what? What does this mean? Yeah. So, it was exciting news. Yeah, that's pretty it, awesome. It, it was. It was pretty cool. I mean, 
You know, hey, yeah. there's Jeff yeah. Jordan still. A lot of people say they're they they are their favorite America's couple. So you know, I mean, the thing about Julie it. Chen say that. <laughs> so, so is that kind yeah. of a rivalry? Is it kind of like a Batman Superman thing? Is well, it friendship I versus? I feel Jeff like that that would be how... something created by the fans in general. Sure. It's, it's an easy it's an easy thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, like yeah, sure. view them as like the good good couple and us as the bad couple. <laughs> but oh, well, I'll well, see. Um, well, I think more or less like well, I think that well, you but, and uh, Rachel and oh, Jeff and Jordan <laughs> now the evil. Oh hell yeah! No, oh, <laughs> if anything, um, Austin and Liz and me and Amanda we're the bad couples. You guys are the good couples. Like I mean, you, yeah. you guys have Julie's favor. You know, it's gonna have to be a cu- all-out couple season. And <laughs> I mean, that, that would that would be pretty crazy actually. That would, yeah. be, that, that would be pretty crazy because th- I think that there is a very different dynamic. And it's hard to explain to people that have never played that way. Mm-hmm. Because if you're in the house by yourself and there's somebody you're working with, you're close with them. But at the end of the day, if they go home before you, you're like, hey, cool, wasn't me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, you're like, you're like shaggy. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, if, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully the kids out there still get that right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they have to. <laughs> go look up shaggy. But, Come on. Yeah. No, I mean, but when you're playing with a significant other or somebody that you are romantically involved with, you really are joined with them, so you begin to look at the game together, you know? Absolutely. And it's really, really, you know, like, I, I think Austin really is in love with Liz, but then there's a big part of Austin that's like, well, if Liz needs to go so I can win, then I yeah. guess you got to do that, you know? Well, I think I've been, like, calling it from since the beginning of the season where it's like, yeah, I think that he's probably pretty into her, but at the same time, like, I think this dude knows exactly what he's doing. He knows that showmance has come out and they have this huge following. Yeah. Like, he yeah. knows how to play the fame game, and he's doing yeah. an okay job of it. Sure, like, it's a lot of hatred towards him right now, but, I mean, that dude's going to convert. I know he's going to be able to convert something I mean, I, of I don't like Austin, but, man, I love me some Judas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? There's no... There's no dichotomy. I, it's the I'm same. Gonna, I'm going to be in the audience of finale says, can't get me enough Judas. <laughs> yeah, Wearing yeah, a yeah. top hat and shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, he would get a kick out of that. Austin's imagining in his head, he's walking out there finale night when he wins, and there's like 20 little kids out there that all want to be little Judas. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what he thinks. No, and that's exactly what it is. Like, he he's building it up in his head, but at the yeah. same time, it's like, that's kind of why he's doing this. Like, the dude loves yeah. Big Brother, obviously, but you can yeah. tell that there's a, obviously that fame aspect and that wrestling aspect where he wants to get back in and get onto that. Like, and I, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, there's no, been no, plenty no, of people no. that have been through the game, that have played decent games and have been just fame whores, you know? And no, the complaint with with Austin is he like ha- he half assed it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, go Judas or go home. Absolutely, yeah, exactly. absolutely. Yeah, he, was, he was never enough Judas. And honestly, no. I'm, I'm I'm a big Austin fan, but he's DRs. They were a fucking snooze fest. Oh yeah, snooze. they're all never, so schlocky. Never had good DRs. Yeah, yeah. they're I just kind of. I mean, at this point, I would have preferred he ditched the hat, and every time he did it, he just turned his head and then came back and said. I'm Judas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, this, been much more convinced. this well, last episode, like, he does that. He did the, he did the, like, he turned his head a little bit. And it's like, yeah. go put the fucking hat on, dude. At least fucking last try to episode. commit to the character. Last episode. He did a partial head turn. And yeah. Yeah. Judas is coming out. He know? was too lazy to go get the hat. That's exactly <laughs> what it was. <laughs> too lazy. He needs, those, he needs one of those hats that, like, magicians have that, like, the pop hat, up. Hat. Oh, to, yeah. Put on, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> because... If, uh, you know, when when he's carrying that thing to the diary room, I'd be like, oh, my God, this motherfucker's obviously lying. He's about to shoot him. <laughs> it's so weird. He's oh, yeah, I guess that's why he doesn't Letting do it. people know that he's got this side of him that lies about stuff just because it's a character. Like, don't you think that's but, weird to have told but you? you know what? You know what is hilarious is when you, you just said that, McRae, is when he did that, he did the head turn. Yeah. You would expect somebody to, like, change their voice. Like, now they're different. <laughs> Nothing. He talked in his voice. <laughs> Nothing. Turned his head, turned it back and said, in the same voice, <laughs> I'm Judas. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, and then, like, the other... Like, well, what? Yeah. Or what did he say? Was that the same thing where he said, like, oh, Dakota is a place that I'd like to go? Is It's like, is Judas your crappy joke writer? Like, is that who <laughs> yeah. Judas is? He just writes crappy jokes and, like, oh, Jesus. It's so bad. It's, it, it's, it, it, makes my, it makes me cringe. It really makes me cringe. And I have to give... I love it. I really, he thinks everybody loves it. America yeah. is embracing Judas. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. he Halloween's kids, here? He <laughs> Judas's up and down the street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, little Liz's right next to him. Yeah, oh, perfect. I'm perfect. actually thinking about doing it. I'm think I've already been thinking about doing being Austin wait, this year. Wait, wait, three? What? Wait, 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 McCray. If you do a costume, it's gotta be half Austin, half Judas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Cause top half and hat, and, or top hat and half. Yeah, and plus, like my my girlfriend, like my girlfriend could probably pass as Liz, but I mean, I don't know. She probably doesn't want to go as Liz and just be annoying. Like, eh, eh, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, and like the thing about it is though, like I give him props. Like the dude's been entertaining as hell. Like, it, like even if he has been like just annoyingly stupid or whatever, whatever you may think about him, at least <laughs> like Spencer's not happy with that. At I'm, least, I'm, at least he's been entertaining. The dude has been entertaining, even if it's worth. Spencer, give him the Donald Trump. Give him, the, give Austin the Donald Trump. <laughs> What's that? Oh, no. China, China, China. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just think that like it, what's, we what's have to give. Trump? Yeah, what's you're fired. Oh, you're <laughs> yeah, awesome. dude, if you dude, could do like both of you, <laughs> take your sorry act outside. I really fired. like, I really liked how Jesse hosted that comp because you know, uh, uh, fucking Austin had been talking shit about saying yeah, Jesse was that, a wrestler. That, that was behind the scenes the best part for a lot of uh, a lot of feedsters out there. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. a lot of people knew that Austin been talking smack about Jesse all season. Yeah. And Jesse and Jesse was retweeting stuff about Sim saying that he is not a fan of Austin, obviously. Yeah. 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 So well, he goes in there. Austin sucks up his pride. The best part is the twin of the girl he's in love with is totally taken by Jesse. And <laughs> so good. Jesse. And yeah. Austin's so pissed. Oh yeah. He's like, uh, she's like, uh, Austin, you got a lot of work to do. <laughs> right I think Jesse. Austin. I think he had kind of a different demeanor. Like he almost seemed like he was like. He wanted to pretty much be like Austin, like middle fingers. Like it seemed like he was oh, holding yeah. back. It seemed like it was just a different interaction than we've seen him on the show before. Um, like he knew so much, and he just wanted to like say it. I think I, I, I don't know. I, absolutely, he oh, had yeah. to hold back. For yeah, sure. it looked yeah. like it. Like uh, you know, Austin says that Jesse's not a real wrestler. Well, like Jesse, <laughs> it does. He is a real wrestler. Uh, I've never yes. seen Jesse Come wrestle on. wrestle um, Andrea the Giant. Have you ever seen the YouTube video? <laughs> yeah. no, um, Andrea the video, Giant. Yeah, it's like seven foot tall woman, and there's a really? uh, yeah, this guy dressed in a girl outfit is the referee, and Austin's wrestling with her and stuff. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's it's hard to watch. It's funny, but it's like it's oh. like it's like no, this guy's a real wrestler for sure. Wow. <laughs> you know? I can say that I've seen Jesse wrestle, and Jesse is he's good at what he does. Like. Yeah. He's, he's a good bad guy. Like yeah. Jesse's a great dude, I don't and know. he embraces it. But yep. again, he's smart about at, it. At, at, in relation to the Judas, he is not pulling. He is not. He, he's gone full bore with it. And Jesse is who he is inside Absolutely. the house. He goes. Yep. Start to finish. No, know? and he's a performer. I mean, Jesse the knows. House, he's an awesome guy. Yeah. He's super down to earth. He's well. Uh, Jesse he's just, has more of a Judas character and a Jesse character, where it's yeah. like he's like outside. He's the nicest, like best dude ever. Yeah. And I can never sing his uh, his highest praises. But inside, oh, yeah. like he knows how to put on a show inside the ring, yes. inside the house. That yes. dude can lie. He becomes Judas. He becomes a different person. That's like sinister and dark, and he's the heel or whatever. And it's like Austin, you got to commit. Like I don't know if you know anything about acting, Austin, but you got to commit. Maybe like, like <laughs> one tenth of Jesse. Like, <laughs> yeah. Think? Yeah, pulled like a half Jesse. He pulled like a one tenth Jesse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. essentially. You know, if even that. Yeah. Yeah. Great. I like it when you get really excited because it looks like fucking Jim Hansen is going your arm. Ooh. Like, yeah. I get into yeah. it. He gets into it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. But uh, yeah, no, Austin. I don't. You say he's gonna be able to spin it, McCray. Honestly, I mean, I hope all all the best for him and you know everybody. well you're a resident yeah you're a resident but, I, but let's let's talk about like what do you think austin should do you're a resident austin fan like talk us through this can he spin anything in his favor even though he's going into this like he's going into the final four with a showman something that's super dangerous um you know for everyone else can austin spin this to make it work in his favor where he doesn't get voted out and steve gets voted out how do you spin that brendan how do you spin that can I mean, you spin that uh, it, it, the thing with Austin, I think that the one, you know what? Amazingly, I feel the pulse of the house is at least in favor of Austin. That a lot of the house guests inside, for some reason, think that Austin's playing a much better game than we see from from the outside. Mm -hmm. We think he's playing, a, he's doing, not doing anything. Mm -hmm. He's just managed to like 
fumble and bumble his way to the end. <laughs> yeah. But in all reality, everyone else, like James and Meg, are like, Austin was never on the block. Like, how's he doing? He's not getting blood <laughs> on his hands. He's just, he's maneuvering. He's so smart. He's hiding behind the twins. And, and he's using Vanessa. And we're like, wait, what? You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, he's going to get credit for all this stuff that he never did. Yeah. But, see- I like I like Austin. I like I would I disagree that I I think that he is getting he may get credit for things that he didn't do, but if he's the last man standing of the people that are involved doing it, you know you oh absolutely you know there's a lot to be said for that. Um, I think I think that he has played a really good game, and he said in a, in a DR session last last episode that the game is about strategically placing yourself week to week, and and he's done that. I mean I I think he's played a good game. You're right. He hasn't had to like make huge moves, and even like his H O H U one was not even really that necessary for him. Probably he still may have been safe. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you know, I uh, this this week McCray, I think that if he's going to save himself, he never should have got on the block. He should have thrown Liz under the bus and uh, been like, "Hey, look, I've already pissed off two jury members. Fucking like you don't want to put me up there anyway." Something like that. Well, he should have he should have pressed his luck with the Vanessa relationship. And gone, gone, one hundred percent with that. Yeah. And been like, hey, get rid, of, get rid of Liz. Look, you and I both know that she's a threat to either one of us winning this game. Mm-hmm. You get, you put her up, and then we act like, are you, you know, she gets, she gets out. I act surprised. Yeah. You know, you know that, that could together. have been huge, exactly, because then he, sure. he could have went to her and been like, this is why I need you. You need to take out Liz for me now. I can't do it. Otherwise, yeah. I'm burning all these bridges. Um, yeah, yeah, that's a very good point. That, and, she, that, and she's still, and in Vanessa's head. You know, she thinks she's a puppet master. So she's got relationships all over the house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you give her, you give her that little incentive and make her feel good about it. You know. Absolutely. Yeah. Because I mean, she is wanting to make a big move, and that's what she's talking about getting Austin out. So yeah. I mean, it would have been just as big to get out Liz. Uh, yeah. Really. If, if not bigger, from a from a standpoint yeah. of people. Yeah. yeah. Multiple yeah. HOHs. I was gonna say, know, yeah, she has a, a better of, record. It I seems think like jury wise, that they are more likely to vote for Liz. But there's a lot of there's most likely a scenario where they're not going to sit next to each other in the in the final two. So nobody's really thinking about it that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're thinking about Liz or Austin versus dot dot dot. Yeah, you know? yeah, absolutely. See, do you think that uh, do you think Vanessa's plan is who do you think she wants to end up in the final two with? I think at this point, Vanessa <laughs> Vanessa's really just painted herself into a corner. She she is like. I don't know. I've been trying to think of a really good analogy for Vanessa. She's the example, I think, one of the few times, in the, at least in my I've seen, because I haven't watched all the seasons, but mm-hmm. in the ones I've seen, she is a gamer that I've seen at uniquely has overplayed like way harder <laughs> at so many points than she needed to. Mm-hmm. Because there's a lot of people who underplay, right? They, mm-hmm. they don't play, they don't play, and then when they need to play, they don't do it, and they, they're a god. Yep. Done. Vanessa has been somebody who's like, been playing, been playing, been playing, but then like every time she gets to a point where she's like perfect, she just overshoots her landing, mm-hmm. and then yeah. and then she manages to you know recover <laughs> yeah, she's from got, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pull it out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like, like Vanessa, stop! Like just calm down. Everybody's not against you. Mm-hmm. There's not a secret code in the microwave. <laughs> Nothing is. You know, what I mean, she's she's going a little bit over the top about misreading things, mm-hmm. reading into things that don't exist. Sure. Like she needs to take a step back because she's been in there a long time, and I think all of them have. What, what, one thing that's interesting about her is she's so good at really harvesting information out of people. Yeah. That she makes her so paranoid because she knows so fucking much. Mm-hmm. Well, and somebody know? like Johnny Mac has recognized that finally. Yeah. So it's yeah. only taken them, uh, you know, <laughs> days plus yeah. to recognize it, but well, he finally like... recognizes that. She's working over everyone. Yeah. yeah, and I love like I love that like even though it didn't work on this last episode, he kind of goes with like the strategy of like okay, well she's all about logic and reason. I'm just gonna go with chaos. Just put me up. Yeah. I'm just gonna say I put me it. up. I love that where it's like because how yeah. does she react to that? Like you know like sure she put him up still, but at the same time like that has to just throw her into haywire like haywire mode essentially. So would would y'all say that Vanessa's plan reasonably is to get Austin out this week? Obviously, hang around next week, get out Steve, go to the final three with uh, Johnny Mac and Liz, because really it's an easy sell to Johnny Mac not to want to take Liz because you kick her out and the twins in Austin have to vote for between wow. Johnny Mac mm-hmm. and Vanessa instead of having you know one twin up there because that's definitely two votes, two jury votes. So you don't want to sit next to Liz. And she's played a hell of a game. 
So would that be the plan for Vanessa is to try to end up sitting next to Johnny Mac and say, hey, I was a target this whole time, and this son of a bitch came back in the game after yeah. I kicked his ass out, and the only reason he stayed is because he worked with me. Yeah. I mean, like, that's a pretty easy sell for jury votes, if you ask me. Yeah. I mean, the only thing that I was going to bring up is that no girl has ever sat next to a guy and won the game. Um, so that would be the one reason why she'd be like, well, maybe I should bring Liz because I could actually, uh, just because of the way that things work out. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, I think she does have I a... I don't think she knows that. Yeah, I don't think I don't she think knows that either. Brother. No, I don't think... Yeah, exactly. But I, I, you're probably right, Spencer. Like, Johnny Mac has, like, the easily, <laughs> easily the most pick apartable game you got, where you can pick it apart, I guess. You guys, much like Vanessa, have overthought her game. <laughs> Absolutely. So I will, That's what we're here for. Simplest, <laughs> the simplest solution to her uh, enigmatic problem, number 3,752, <laughs> is Vanessa is going to make a deal with every single person in the house. Yep. And make sure she's saved with every single person in the house. But every single person in the house at this point is only so few people that not everybody's going to believe it. Johnny Mac already doesn't believe it. Steve is, is really, really, I mean, Steve is like an anxiety case waiting to happen. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and, and Johnny Mac and Vanessa at this point are now just both poking him with sticks. So he doesn't know what's going on. But he's becoming less trusting of Vanessa, mm -hmm. which... Yeah. He needs to be. So is that he what is, everyone's move is for this next week? Say say that Austin goes when we're going into Final Four. Is everyone's goal to get rid of Vanessa then? If they were smart, if they were smart, they would band together because she can't compete. And it's yeah. an easy yeah. sell for everyone. Just yeah. be like, look, let's agree. Not all of us don't stand a chance if she's in the final, you know, or, or going to have a hard time Absolutely. winning those votes. Do you think she can keep oh. her grip on the whole crew this week? Because, I mean, you're exactly right. She's a great person to just, I mean, she's there not able to compete. And yeah. uh, obviously, uh, Vito's going to be very important. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you could, you could really try to, you get a good shot of getting her. Do you think they'll do it? Or do you think she's got too too good a grip on enough of them at least? I don't know. I mean, I would not discount the fact that she comes back. Uh, gets put on the block and then wins the veto. I mean, yeah, yeah. So well, that, we're gonna be coming. It. We're gonna be coming into a lot of the guess the days and a lot of like uh, what happened, what days. Where it's like Steve. Yeah. I mean, they they probably can assume that Steve is probably gonna do good. But uh, you know, Vanessa's so much uh, paranoia that she's probably gonna have it all in her head. Like, boom, boom, boom. I remember this day and this day and this day because this person told yeah. me a lot. You know, like she's gonna be pretty solid. I mean, I I honestly hope they're throwing them for a loop. I I'm just tired of the predictability factors. I don't mm -hmm. want them. Coming into competitions where Knowing. they're all like, "Oh, this is what's going to happen," and then yeah. it happens. Yeah. Like, give them something new, please, for the God, love of God. If you have not done it already, <laughs> do it now. Yeah. yeah. You know what I would like to. You know what I would like to see uh, with with everybody that's left. I would like to see and uh, Brendan, you won this comp, I believe the knots. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, they haven't done that in a while. I love that, that comp. Was, you know, uh, that was so much harder than I thought it was going to be. Oh, that seems like I the would... most miserable comp there is. Oh. One of the most. Like by that the, sounds so by the bad. End, it's just like. I, the rope was so heavy. That was the other part. It's just like you now you have like you have like you know 40, 50 pounds yeah. of rope as you're like going Run. under the rope. Yeah, so. that sounds. That, ugh. that would yeah. give. I would say that'd give a Johnny Mac advantage if that comp was uh, played for either Hoh or Vito or. Oh, I, mean, I don't see it happening. I mean, that, no, that Steve is done. Years. Steve gets stuck <laughs> on non number two. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, <laughs> Steve's yeah. like trying to chew his way through. It. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. almost like. Liz is like, uh, work, you know, still putting her <laughs> hair up. Bro yeah, her nail like, broke and she's done. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, I'm yeah. Like, no, there's I'm no like, way. I, I, don't, I don't think they would do something like that. I think they would mm. feel like it was lopsided there, too. Yeah. I think yeah. they need to give something fair. I mean, look at, let's look at the, the final four. If all of them are re roughly about the same height, you know what I mean? Yeah. At this point, maybe that's not such a. A big player like an endurance comp would be great. Oh you know? yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, they've all been decent. I guess Steve's the only one that's not so great at endurance comps. But yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know. Either that or like a crapshoot, some sort of weird, just like randomized hoh. Like <laughs> people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, hey, oh. you know, exactly. You know would be really good if Big Brother wants to paint Vanessa as the uh, female mastermind. That I mean, really, she needs the credit for being. Uh, It'd be interesting to play the uh, uh, what's it the pressure cooker comp and I would love, I mean Rachel the whole button, 
because oh, yeah. she would be making so many. De- I mean, she can't even play this dance. Oh, that you couldn't. You can't six. get her to H O H. Yeah, but that's season six when Caser came back. And then yeah, went out. that would be but an like, awesome, awesome play, one to throw. If she out right can't now. play. I mean, she can't play this H O H. So that, that's any point to have. That to me is a competition where you see who wants it the most. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I think because that's one of the most the- wanted H O H. Oh, that's one of the most wanted comps ever. Like, we. I don't know why they don't bring that one back. Like. I know, I know it, it, it so definitely easy. is one of the number one fan picks I think yeah. for the comp to bring back because they haven't brought it back ever, no. right? It doesn't no. seem like it. No, I don't think so. I can't think it's of anything great, that's man. even like that. Like, like, hours? Yeah, yeah. I think it was like a long time because I remember it like went into the next day. And I'm guessing that's probably why is like production was probably just so tired and like yeah. let's never do this one again. We yeah. have to pay so no, much overtime I mean, and shit. Horrible idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, but you know what? Make sure you have the live feeds on for that because we won't watch every. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. Exactly. The wheel and deal that would go on with that would be awesome. And oh, you could yeah. tempt them. I always like to be tempted with prizes. Oh, yeah. Do those, A, the, the, that little box. The they had, like, the boxes, boxes or whatever, yeah, and, like, oh, bees and bees shit. Bees. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. was great. Hey, what did y'all think about uh, the luxury comp being going to the Ariana Grande concert? That would be awesome to get out of the house and be able to see it'd that be cool, many people. But yeah, that'd, that'd be, be overwhelming, I bet. Like, it'd just be like, holy shit, there's so many people and this music is so loud. Like, I'm, like, frightened. <laughs> I would be scared, I think. I mean, I, you know, I, I think that was probably one of the better luxury comps they've had in a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mine, season 12, I got to go to a mansion all by myself. I told yeah, Rachel, I was like, cool. hey, Hands down, a thousand times better. I would yeah. uh, any day. Yeah, like, that would be awesome. Just Absolutely. Relax, yeah. By yourself. Yeah, just, just sing in the shower, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no kidding. You don't understand how, you, how in Big Brother you can't sing any songs. You hear yeah. music every morning, but you can't sing it. In yeah. The, yeah. Absolutely. So to be able to just like be away from cameras, relax. I got a massage, like a six horse. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Wine, yeah. a wine, beer. Was, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the best. Awesome. That is. It the was best. insane. It was yeah. insane. You can't beat that one, really. Like, no, that that mine was probably probably the best for a Big Brother contestant. Yeah. And you didn't have to dress up in hair and makeup, which this was fucking stupid because they do this little <laughs> montage, then work it on fast, and then it looks like. Them in a wig. Yeah, yeah. Vanessa with the <laughs> they wig. They didn't on. look any different. At all. They should have put like rubber noses on them. Yeah. Them Give her like a nail going through her face. <laughs> and, yeah, be like, make make like the meet Ariana with like fucking big noses. You probably go to the hospital. Yeah. 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 Exactly. yeah. Exactly. I'm an Ariana fan. This is well, Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I heard that Vanessa got recognized at some point. I don't know. That's yeah. just what I read somewhere. I guess. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how true that is or like. Well, I mean, she looks super recognizable. She looks exactly she looks like same exact yeah, exactly. person. Yeah. yeah, nothing done. Hello, buddy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, my yeah. name is Judas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what they should have said their names were. Shit. Well, I think that's probably a good time to wrap it up. About the Halloween store. It's <laughs> costume. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Gray, yeah. it's a missed opportunity if you don't go as Judas. I think, oh. yeah. I think oh. it's... All yeah. you need is a top hat. Exactly. <laughs> and some, like, Shakespeare and a fucking skull. Just, like, yeah. oh, <laughs> that would yeah. be great. <laughs> I think that'd be so great. <clears throat> to me. Yeah. Oh, dude, you could uh, you could get Jess to dress up like Liz, but also Julia. Like, maybe, like, a two-headed thing. Am I the only one that wonders if, if part of him, before he came into the house, was, like... Should I bring the cape or not? Should I just do the top hat or should I do yeah, the cape? Yeah, I could see him sitting Absolutely. in the hotel with Robin and, and he's like, what do you think? Okay. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. uh, it's just the hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Now in my head, he also has his staff. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, like some sort of cane and shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, you can read Ooh. this stupid top hat. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, the monocle and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just. Monocle. I feel awesome. like if I only bring the top hat, I'm probably just not going to go as hard as <laughs> yeah. I would if I had to keep the staff. Uh, I, I still cannot yeah. believe that. He'd still do as good as Judas. Yeah. He's still. <laughs> like. No way you're gonna blow Judas. You have that thing down. Oh, God. Does Sean have to come into the room? Um, Austin, sorry, we can't for safety reasons. We can't let you in with the staff. <laughs> <laughs> and, and just networks have called about the cape, and they just yeah, it's not she happening. Said, maybe, maybe we could put it in H O H basket. But it's good. <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. Oh shit! Yeah. Uh, Oh, God. All yeah. right. 
Let's we wrap it up. <laughs> we love you, Austin. Absolutely. Nothing but love. Nothing but love. <laughs> see, then again, see, Austin doing that stuff is, I think, why I actually do enjoy Austin. Exactly. Because, I agree 100%. You know, it's like if he, if he, if he was, if he was different for any reason, <laughs> I don't think I would like him as much now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just because he's so, like, like that speech. <laughs> the, the speech is well, bonkers. The speech is, I should say. Oh, but the, yeah. Uh, the speech, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's exactly. bonkers. Like I've yeah. read like the text version of it, and like I was like, "This is insanity!" <laughs> like I, I, someone has it all written out in text, and it's bonkers. <laughs> it's so great. It, no, it's so rambling. Is I read it backwards while playing a pink. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Satan uh, speaking to me. <laughs> Judas is with <laughs> us all. <laughs> yeah, all backwards and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Judas watches you. God damn, that sounds scary. Oh man, that's so good. He he'd, been, he'd worked on this like years ago. For the day he got on Big Brother, in yeah. this moment he came, and we're like, "Oh, what an idiot! Stupid bumbling fool!" Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna do that now. I'm gonna record that speech and play it backwards just to see what happens and see if I can connect some dots. <laughs> That'd be awesome. So what great. if, uh, like, what if Austin completely misreads Julie if he gets evicted? You know, and they're, you know, oh. it's, it's, it's not live. What if he comes out and he completely misreads her? And thinks that he's super popular as Judas. He goes out and does like the Stone Cold Stunner on her or something. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> what, if, what if Julie's just like, she's like, Austin, awesome, take, out, take out the stupid hat. Cut the shit out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Julie. Oh, yeah. Really, yeah. I, hope she, I hope she just tears him apart. I hope yeah. that would be uh, so great. Yeah. I mean, I, I think she's, but the thing is, is Julie's great. Julie's great at ans- asking questions, so yep. she's gonna know you get you get a, <laughs> you get what you want with honey, yeah. <laughs> and she's gonna want Austin to give those juicy answers that everybody wants to hear, right? Yep. Oh, oh, yeah. <clears throat> You're gonna want to hear and go off <laughs> on Liz. Oh, well, dude, okay, I guarantee you that there's <laughs> that that uh, Julie Chen is gonna ask the so Austin, you played this game with Liz. How much of it was game, and how much of it was true love? And just so you can say, that's oh, gonna Julie, be hundred percent. I'm the completely in love with her, blah, blah. And she's gonna say, "You're a fucking idiot. Just get thinking <laughs> out." <of here."> <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Julie, Julie's gonna be like, "So, Austin, you went in with the girlfriend." <laughs> uh, yeah. That would be insane. I don't know if she'll touch that. I don't know if she will. Well, you think so? Yeah. I don't know. I've no way. I, I, she could in the finale. That's a she's got free balls. She'll say that. For, she'll say that. Years. Yeah. I mean, Zingba already got him on it, so yeah. it's like public she, knowledge. Yeah, public domain. that's yeah. true. That's true. She might yeah, actually that, throw it out there. I can see that as a finale question. I can see it as a finale question. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's really. True. You know what I'm no. saying? So, uh, but yeah, <laughs> like, oh, yeah. I, I tweeted out. I, I thought that BB missed a huge fucking opportunity since they were going to disguise uh, Liz and Vanessa. They should have just—they should have dressed Liz up to make look like whatever Austin's girlfriend looks like outside the house. Oh so when she came back in the skies, you'd be like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> panic oh, quick. Jesus, Jesus. That, that would be pretty amazing. That'd, That'd be great. Been. That'd be great. All right. Absolutely. Well, you know what? Before we but let's go, let's just real quick, we'll go back to the the topic. Sure. I think right now, I think Johnny Mac's in a real interesting position because Johnny Mac, I mean, is really everybody's trying to is is. Wants his vote right now, yeah. So he's in a great spot, yeah. And he really doesn't care because I think he's been, they've just been going insane. So he's just he's calm and relaxed, and I think, I think he's in a great spot. I mean, I think Johnny Mac has got a guaranteed final three at the moment. Yeah, you know? I mean, I'll, almost actually. One thing about Johnny Mac 2.0 is like, do y'all remember the few weeks before he left how depressed he was? Yeah, you know, I mean, he was down mm-hmm. since this came true. back in. He told Julie, he said, "I want Meg out," and he got Meg out the next week with Vanessa. Mm-hmm. You know, because Meg was the goat. Meg was going to go to final two. I think Johnny said, "Shit, I'm I'm back in the house. Probably the best I can get is final two, but that's what I want. Fifty thousand dollars, a ton of money. I'm a smart guy, yeah. and uh, and he's playing with a lot more. Just you know, all right, fuck it. You already evicted me once. What's the worst can happen? And yeah. it's done well for him. That kind of more relaxed when everybody else has still got that tension mm-hmm. has, I think, helped Johnny Mac get in the position he's in. Absolutely. You've already so. been evicted once. It's like, I'm back. Like, let's do it. it I mean, you, you've been through it, Brennan. you like, what was it like yeah. to come back? Did you actually, was there that, any kind of that feeling of like, you know what? Like, I've already been evicted once. What's the worst you can do except for evict me now? Let's go, baby. Like, Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, I mean, for me, 
having to compete to come back in, also you're like, kind of adrenaline rush. Absolutely. I win, and I'm like, okay, work. I'm excited more than anything just to see Rachel again. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to be back playing, but more importantly to see Rachel again because mm -hmm. I know she's broken down. Mm -hmm. Seeing me is definitely going to help her. Um, and then going to the HOH, yeah, I was I was completely. It was like I was to, I, my head was out of the game mm -hmm. because yeah. I had already I I had won my battle. I made it back into the house. Yeah. So I was like, oh well, we got like six people on our side. There's no way we're not going to win this HOH. Yeah. And it's like, what the you know? It's like, <laughs> yeah. You know. Screw it's yeah. Just like, Every time you get comfortable and get lazy, yep. you're you know you're nominated. So yeah, absolutely. I, I think that's the thing that that Johnny Mac really has differentiated himself. He at least has kind of played a different game since he got back in the game. Absolutely. I guess he. I mean, he has because he's not the same player. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, he's, he's like he well, right like, away. He was like, oh, I'm gonna work with Vanessa. You know, like right yeah, out of the gates, I mean, like let's do it. Like yeah, it's goes, smart. Yeah. You know, hey, absolutely. Uh, you know, kudos if you're able to put it behind you that fast. I mean, I mean, if I came back in, I told Danielle, I, and I was honest, mm -hmm. I was like, hey, no hard feelings. Like, look, I, you got me out, I'm back. So, like, hey, we it's can't cross-cancel. Yeah, know? yeah, and, absolutely. And you, you almost have to say that, too, though. You can't be like, all right, fucker, I'm not going to forget that. You know, <laughs> you, you really, I mean, you, you can't afford to be that way in the game. But, no, I mean, Johnny Mac was definitely came back in with the, hey, if you can't beat him, join him. And hook up with Vanessa and see how far it gets him. And it's it's he's riding her all the way to the end. But I think so. yeah, I think Johnny Mac's playing great. I mean, I I know that's going to be a battle for him at final two. Is that who so you want to win? The whole thing. Uh, I mean, at this point, you know, this is what I said. At this point, anybody wins. I couldn't. I can't think of a reason for one person winning over any of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the five people there that are left, I feel at least have at least fought in some way. Yep. To earn their spot to where they're currently at. Absolutely. Amongst those five. Vanessa, I think, is playing the hardest. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Sure. But sure, sure. in the same token, I think she's also overplayed. And she's overplayed. When she's... Do you think she's playing? Do you think she's had to play as hard as she had? I know you say she's overplayed. No, but do you think she could have chilled the fuck out and got just yes. as far and done just as well? I okay. think so. Because she, you know what? At the end of the day, Big Brother is about making alliances with the right people. Mm -hmm. And it's just a game of chance. If you happen to make the, you happen to be in the right spots at the right time, you can make yeah. it to the end. You mm -hmm. know, yes, a great social game helps, but at the end of the day, it's luck too because people buy luck sometimes when these HOHs. Sometimes they're on your side, sometimes they're not. Sometimes you're sitting next to somebody who's a way bigger target than you, mm -hmm. and sometimes you're not. Also, so it's yeah. like you know, Absolutely. there's a lot of there's a lot of luck and a lot of chance. Oh but yeah, like, I think but, Vanessa has worked hard to get to where she's at, yeah. but I just think she's played so sloppy. Because there's so many times where she's just like, you're like, what are you doing? Sure. Yeah. Like, sure. chill out. Like, yeah, you're doing you, great. You're playing way and too many steps. you had everything under control. And now you're like, you're freaking out Steve. <laughs> yeah. Well, she, yeah, it seems like she's on a high wire out. and she's like trying to show off on a high wire. And it's like, just get to the yeah. end. Like, stop yeah. screwing around. Yeah. Like, just stop. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I mean, you know what? It is it is coming from a, you know, I, I, I've been in physics my you know, for the last 13 years, physics and math and science and medicine. Mm -hmm. And one thing I'll say about smart people is a lot of smart people are great and they're very brilliant. And on tests, they are the most brilliant people in the world. Mm -hmm. But sometimes they become succumb, they succumb to their own ego in terms of thinking that whatever, like her, she literally is manifesting her thoughts. And if she thinks something's happening, boom, it's like, it's happening. Yeah. So like when she gets caught in a lie and she argues with people, she is almost pathological to the point where she's. I didn't say that. There's no way. And you're just like, <laughs> like, show like, it, yeah. like it's like rapid gunfire, and people are just like, okay, well, yeah, I guess she must be right because yeah. she believes it. There's no way she could be not believe. You know, she could yeah, be that, yeah, 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 yeah. Like that, <laughs> yeah. You know? so, no, it's I mean, absolutely she, true. I don't know. I mean, she's gone. She has gone full bore. She's gone the she's whole gone way. Full John Nash. Not, like she lies and she believes it. So yeah, she's yeah. not half. Do pulling anything half-assed. Yeah. So I give that much credit. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. All yeah. Right. I mean, there's no doubt she has played a phenomenal game. Um, it it has been it's been exhausting. I'll say that. About it. <laughs> yeah. Exhausting. Very exhausting yeah. to watch. It's been exhausting. I mean, yeah. she's but she's like she's a machine that's like one of those generators that's just been running for like the last thirty days. Yeah. And absolutely. he's just been pouring more gasoline in it. 
and it's like it's so hot and like yeah. it explode and yeah. it's like the rap it's at the highest speed right now but it's everything's rattling <laughs> yeah if she can make it's it to that finish happen. line she's almost there yeah, yeah. 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 absolutely she is she's close she's yeah. close <laughs> so hey so there's, there's the part of me there's your perfect part analogy for her game because like, she is playing hard so you do yeah. want to see hard players that play hard get rewarded sure, you know absolutely sure Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, if she wins, uh, where would you rank her in in winners? Um, I'd rank her in probably the top ten, for sure. I mean, that's just a quick thought. I, <laughs> sure, I, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Like, yeah. I couldn't go. I wouldn't say top five by any means. No. Mm, okay. I think okay. she's. I think she's good. Mm-hmm. But I think that there's a lot of people that you put them in other seasons or with different players, yeah. and they don't do as well. Yeah. Because absolutely. There's somebody like, yeah, you're full of shit. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah Dan, your funeral is great, but I'm not fucking buying this. I watched the first season. What exactly. the hell is wrong with people? Yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, sure. and so there's there's different situations where I think people people's particular strategies do not work as well. Sure. If you get the players that are good are people that can roll with the punches. I will say Vanessa has been pretty good at that. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. she has yeah. seemingly rolled with the punches, so I give her, give her credit as well. Yeah, yeah she's she's been fortunate enough to control a lot of the punches too. So yeah. that's that's helped her game. She's been in the right. And that's why influence. that's why I think that like even her winning, I still would say as a player, it's hard because as an alumni, we all have a little bias with people that come into the game with some like you know CBS is like oh hey look at this trophy you know or mm-hmm. or like a list uh, in your guys' season just. Anybody that's the trophy person for the season yeah. comes in with a little bias from the other uh, the alumni because we're like, well, we had to fight over season when I was young. And, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know? No, absolutely. Yeah. No, absolutely. I mean, even people absolutely. with like on uh, last season with Frankie and stuff like that, where it's like, yeah. but at the same time, you shouldn't. We shouldn't take away anything from the games that they played because no. they like because of whatever they have. Like, like we should, I, I yeah. even try to clarify with fans that watch like your show and, and watch Periscope mm-hmm. that when we talk about this stuff, like I really think about it. First of all, what it, I'm taking the personal aspect out of it completely. Yeah. So. Like 99% of these people, we meet them afterwards. We hang out, have beers, and they're the coolest people ever. Exactly. And they're way different than they are in the house, yep. you know? 100% but then, different. But then on a person, like on an on a entertainment level or as a viewer, mm-hmm. I view it as one one way. Yep. I view it through the way that I watch it on my TV when I'm just watching the episodes. But then I also view it from somebody who watches the feeds. Yep, And knows exactly. what I'm on scenes. And then knows can read between the lines sometimes you know yeah, sure absolutely so, uh yeah that's I mean, a good I mean, way to put sometimes, it i think some seasons you guys know are probably a little bit more accurate than others mm-hmm. that yeah. portraying the, the person you see on the feeds is the person on the show yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. yeah absolutely absolutely i mean are you guys think they're doing that this season with for most of the part um, yeah, people, i mean it just seems like there's been vanessa oh people, yeah it's about vanessa not owning her uh like over emotional you know it's gonna is a good way to control people yeah. Um, and they got that kind of thing, but she could be saying the dr, and we're just not seeing it. So I, I wouldn't think so. That's I fair. Think if she's saying, "Hey, I'm manipulating people this way," they'd want to show it. So maybe she's not owning it. So uh, you can't say that, that they're leaving that out. Um, the other yeah. thing about it though is like Derek. Derek said we Derek last season said that you have to play like you play against the viewers at home, you play against Dr, and you play yeah. against your house guests. You know, like Vanessa could be doing that, and that's why we don't see this other aspect of her like uh, using emotion and what have you. Like she might not even be telling Dr because she doesn't want them to catch on to that. I don't know. And see, and, that, yeah. and that's true, and that's that's why I think a lot of us do give her the benefit of the doubt, especially alumni, because we played the game, we do know. That it is that. Mm-hmm. It, there is, you know, seven, you know, ten hours of footage of you in the diary room per week that, yeah. that you're only seeing twenty minutes of. You yeah, know? sure, exactly. So I mean, we we don't we don't know. So we we you know, she is playing good. What we're seeing on the show is she's being very emotional. Mm-hmm. I do personally can't stand people that try to convince you via like threatening arguments. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know, like hey, you should do this. Because if you don't, I'm gonna kill you. Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> yeah, said, nice to hear that sweater. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought you said something else. You want me to chill you some uh, pop <laughs> yeah, yeah. down there? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, no, I don't want none of that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. No, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, well, that's that's the only downside to Vanessa's her her strategy. I think it's it's just worked with a lot of people. Like Austin doesn't mind getting pushed around by Vanessa. The li- the twins are just like whatever, like <laughs> yeah. sure, but that's that's cool. 
Oh, and she's she's like, scary. You know, she's just so well, scary. <laughs> I would yeah, not want to like her. She is like pushing the, the house around. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's what I said. Good, good for her for them listening. Absolutely. I mean, it's you know. tough. Well, Absolutely. you know, with, with, with Austin, the twins, uh, for the longest time, she had, and like you said, like you said, they didn't really care what happened as long as they weren't impacted by it. So you've got this voting block that you're working with that you yeah. can pretty much get what you want done. If you really got an agenda where you want something done and every week she seemed to have an agenda and been able to carry it out. So yeah. as long as Austin is the Austin twins were on the block and neither was she, they could vote out whoever they wanted to for the, for a very long time. And, and we're in a lot of control in the power seat majority of the game. So, yeah, no, she, I mean, Vanessa, Vanessa's done an amazing job doing that. Like, I'll never, you know what I mean? For somebody like Vanessa, I'll, I'll be honest, it's much easier for us to, like, poke at her game mm -hmm. by a little specific details sure. because the hey, majority of players bullshit. in Big Brother are two-dimensional, mm -hmm. you know, and you can describe their game by, like, four words, you know? Yeah. Played with Amanda. So, I mean, she, she is somebody who has a lot of facets to her personality in the game, so I think it's easy for us to, like, dissect it a little, a little bit more. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, well... Yeah, I think yeah, we pretty much covered it. It's been a good one, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah, I mean, we we only got we only got uh, we can only wait now. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. I know. I know. Um, oh, dude, I'm a I'm a not dude. <laughs> you know, I'm, I've been I've been like uh, back in Austin all season, so I really wanted to stay. Yeah, I mean, you know what the thing was is Rachel. After she'd done her interview, she told me she was like, Austin's like a really nice guy. Mm -hmm. Like, she really wanted to root for Austin. She was like, he's really down to earth. He's like a huge fan of big brother she mm -hmm. did a podcast with him like years ago yeah you know during so our season a legit fan yeah. you know cool. so we're like okay we're totally <laughs> about him and then you find out he has a girlfriend he's going with liz and then it's like hey, i don't know and, and so it's kind of hard but in terms of the game in terms of him just as a player not as a person i w would like to see him do well yeah. because he's a fan and he i mean i don't know how the hell he did it but you know that's why i said it's like up to eight weeks, he was not on the block. I said, mm -hmm. say, Derek was the same way last year. So yeah. everybody talks all the smack about Austin, but Derek did the same thing. So you, like you can, you say one is a great player, you say the other one sucks. So yeah. you know, what I mean, I, it's it's because it's that's how Big Brother works. You know, yep. we all see it different types of lenses. Oh right? yeah, no, yeah. absolutely, and that's kind of what, that's what makes it fun too. Yeah, so you can argue. You know, like there's people you could never talk talk him into believing that Austin was, is playing a good game. Mm -hmm. So, and that's, that's just what makes the fandom fun. But uh, anyway. But I will say, I mean, in all seasons that I've, that I've watched, this is one of the first times I've seen the final five consisting of people, which you at least feel are pretty equally matched going into it. Yeah, everyone's kind of got their different uh, skills. Five set. people, you're going to have three people that are competitive. Sure. Two of them that you're like, man, how the hell did they make it? Yeah. And no, then absolutely. Like, and then, Three, two of the three competitive people are gonna get knocked off, so yep. it's gonna be one competitive person <laughs> yeah. like two quarters in the end. Yeah, yeah. You know? exactly. And you're like, please let the competitive person win. <laughs> anything. You know? Absolutely. So I think this is the first time we've seen people that at least I would not consider any of them to have been floaters. Yeah. I, well, I, I mean, agree. again, like Meg was definitely in track to be that number two spot, and oh, yeah? she would have been that person. And I think that it was probably smart of them to get rid of her just for that very I was, reason. I thought she was gonna be on on my uh, my my roster uh, <laughs> for the uh, for the for the game yeah. the whole time, but you know, she disappointed me there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought she was the wrong. Yeah, she, 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 looked, she was looking like a safe pick there for a while. Yeah, oh, absolutely, hey, absolutely. Man. So I need to check my stuff. I don't even know where I'm at. Dude, you're that fucking, one. you're like top, dude. You're almost Am number one. You're like three. Yeah, I'm fifth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good Actually, one. That's pretty good picks. I still have, uh, I have, well, Austin's going to go, but I have Austin, John, and Vanessa. Left. Oh, I've got Vanessa, John, and Steve. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, you got Vanessa, John, and Steve, so yep. you're number one, and I'm number two. As long as Austin goes, oh, man, I'm going to be killing it this week. Wow. Oh. wow. 
No. Yeah, yeah so. it's uh, Spencer, your third, Nick Juhas is fourth, and I'm fifth. <laughs> Who's second? Who's second? Uh, Ricardo. I don't know who Ricardo is. <laughs> well, Ricardo's got it going on. Yeah. All right. It's like a, this game was like a slingshot. I, I, I didn't even know about the point system really until afterwards. I picked everybody. I looked. I was like, oh, this is how oh. it works. <laughs> it's like a slingshot. Like, You're you not doing to, too do bad. really bad in the beginning. And have like three that do great all the way, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like score a whole bunch of points. Well, like I get this uh, chart emailed to me, and it's like yeah, some PDF. We all file, get and that. I don't, we I don't all get like, that. I don't even know what it looks like. I mean, I look at it. I don't even know how to read it. So I just ask McCray how I'm doing. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there you go. Brennan, you're in the top half. You're the top half. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm doing okay. Yeah, I'm doing okay. Exactly. Yeah, I'll so. be sad. I'll be. Who do I have? Yeah, uh, you know, Spencer and I will be both, uh, you know, grieving if Austin leaves. Yep, you guys both Very have much. Austin. Who do um, I have? So you've got have John, Brent? and you've got Steve. <laughs> so we John, all have some variation. John's my winner pick too. Dude, oh, yeah. Okay. I'm hoping John wins it. I could, I could deal with that. All uh, right, yeah, I could live with that too. <laughs> Just for draft unless he's, purposes. Unless he's against Vanessa, honestly, he deserves to win it, or she deserves to win it over. Yeah, John. yeah, for sure. But I, I think John would not win it against Vanessa. No, no. Mm-hmm. But I think all of them are recognized. That's what I'm saying. They all need to recognize that they're probably not going to win against Vanessa. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. But absolutely. then again, she couldn't recognize that they're probably not going to win against a couple in the final four either. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Once you're prepared to do that. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, they can't bring that the couple to the end. So they can't stupid. do it. They can't do it. I mean, It'd be bonkers. That's I mean, that, bonkers. that to me speaks about some of the stupidity in this season. Well, I mean, yeah, shit. Like, D- Dan did it season fourteen, I think. Didn't he pretty much bring Shane and Danielle to like at least final four? Like that is yeah. scary. That's scary. I think it was final yeah. four. I mean, that yeah, was final was, four. Like, I think Dan also knew like how, I gotta start how, how, how much mind control he had over Danielle. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You know? Absolutely. There was like, I mean. There was some some stuff that probably took some some counseling for a while. Ago. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, <laughs> yeah, yeah. some serious mind control. So, yeah, I was right. watching that. I was like, you just wanted it's to give cool. Daniel a hug and be like, yeah, like it's gonna be okay. <laughs> don't go on the computer. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't go on the computer. <laughs> don't absolutely. Go on the internet for yeah. the next two years. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think on that note, we definitely should wrap it up. Um, Brandon, I mean, what do you got to plug? You do your Periscope uh, during the commercials of uh, every episode. Yeah, I mean, I'm still re- I'm still repping uh, season twelve with Brendan V BB twelve. Hell yeah! Uh, I on my Periscope. Um, you know, you probably hear my wife Rachel Rachel E Riley Rachel Riley Vegas. I think on on Instagram. Um, so you keep up with us. Um, and we are we're working. We got some stuff in the works now, so Ooh. we might be back on TV somewhere. Um, I never, never know. I don't. I don't know until it happens. Until I like I see that. Myself on screen. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's you can't. Happen. You can't count it. Yeah. Uh, neck, awesome. neck in the fray. Neck in the fray. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, just naked. <laughs> yes, yes. 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 Yeah, naked and having fun. Yeah. Hey, we can maybe pitch that. We oh, yeah. Like, like, naked and having fun. They do it. They film it in Catalina Island. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Spencer, yeah. what do you got? Uh, nothing. I'm just looking for some producers to pick up my naked and having fun. So if you're a TV producer, <laughs> sure. you know, I'll, I'll make it work a deal with you. No, I don't have shit. Just uh, make sure you subscribe. We did break uh, 7,000 subs and uh, keep that. 6,000. Yeah, that's what I'm at. Six thousand. Yeah. So Road to seven thousand begins now, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, let's do it. Right. Um, yeah, well, yeah. Let me know, and uh, I'll make sure I retweet this. And oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, pretty yeah. much, I've got nothing. Uh, the music that we heard uh, coming in was my friend Ormd. Check him out on SoundCloud. That's about it. That's all I've got to pitch or plug or whatever. So thanks everyone for watching, and again, thank you, Brendan. It was awesome. It was a really yeah, good. Remember, honor. if anybody has a medical emergency, don't turn to me. <laughs> 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 Excellent. Take care, everyone, and uh, hopefully we will see you on the block next time. Bye-bye. Later.